लास्ट क्लास में मैंने कोई क्वेश्चन दिया था ना इंस्टेड यू हैव टू एट होम यस क्या था क्वेश्चन वो व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चन Anybody remember the question? Root four G L से घुमाया हाँ फिर क्या क्या workout करना है to find the point where projectile motion starts velocity of the chalo dekho sab log dhyan se whenever you <coughs> whenever you get a question where the velocity of the Article undergoing motion in a vertical circle is less than root five gl, but greater than root two gl. <coughs> Or you know uh, that somewhere in the path of the particle, the particle has executed projectile motion. Right? Either of these two information are provided. then there are three distinct steps to consider okay so again let me repeat agar velocity root 2 gl ya usse kam hogi to particle hamesha circular motion mein rahega and it will always stay in the lower half of the semi circle of the vertical circle if the velocity is greater than or equal to root 5 gl then the particle will be completing circular motion right so it will be along the whole circle whole vertical circle at any point i can ask you for the tension in the string or the normal reaction on the circular track which we have done already or i can ask you for the velocity at some point or the height from which it was left Last time. However, when the velocity is between root two gl and root five gl, the vertical circle that is going to be completed by the uh, the vertical circle in which the particle will move will be incomplete, and at a certain point, the the Particle will go into projectile motion. The circular motion will cease, and it will go into projectile motion. So the way to handle these questions is first. Let's say that this angle is theta. So basically, what is happening is that this particle is going in a circular motion up till this point. And at this point, of course, there is some velocity v that it has. Let this be velocity v naught. So, because of the fact that circular motion has stopped and projectile motion has started, so for the purposes of Work energy theorem. I will choose this as the initial point and this as the final point. Okay, so work energy theorem between I and F. Right, and what is point F? Where Circular motion stops, 
and the projectile motion starts. So summation of work done must be equal to work done by the earth plus work done by the stream. Work done by the earth will be minus mg into the height that it has gone up. Very, very easy to figure out. This distance plus this distance. This is L, we know this. This is L sine theta, right? From this right angle triangle, whose hypotenuse is L and one angle is theta. So MGL1 plus MGL into 1 plus sine theta. Work done by string is, of course, always zero. Okay, so this is the, this is the, this is the first part of V. That means three steps are required. Take your initial kinetic energy is half and V naught square. Final kinetic energy is half in V square. So the equation that I will get will be minus mgl1 plus sine theta is equal to half in V square. Half in V square minus half in V square. So this is the work energy theorem equation. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to cancel anything out at the moment. <coughs> now, please notice that there are two unknowns here. V is unknown and theta is unknown. And both we have to find out. Second one and the most important one, which you have to sort of keep in mind, is that the particle is still executing circular. It is the last moment, of course. It is the last moment of circular motion. But the particle is still executing circular motion. So you need to write the circular motion equation at point F. Circular motion equation at point F. So at point F, if it is in circular motion, then I have to draw the tangential axis and the radial axis. So let me just name them. Radial axis hai hai. Tangential axis hai hai. Right. And we draw the FDD. So the only force acting on the particle at this point is mg. Because I told you that at this point, projectile motion starts, circular motion just stops. So at this point, tension in the string has become zero. Right? And I want to write it also somewhere. So at point F, tension is equal to zero. Okay, please remember this. So when we circular motion, we will think about what will happen in our mind. Okay, the root for GL velocity was given. So the root for GL UGH होता है उसका वो इसका मतलब ये हुआ root into 2G into 12 तो एकदम top most point पे जाएगा और फिर वहाँ से velocity zero हो जाएगी और फिर गिर जाएगा नीचे लेकिन ऐसा नहीं होने वाला है at some point of time with some velocity when some velocity is there tension will become zero and beyond that the object will execute projectile motion 
so for circular motion at point f i notice that the radial component of mg is mg sin theta right because this angle is 90 minus theta so summation of the radial forces must be equal to mass into radial acceleration which tells me that mg sin theta is equal to m into v square divided by the radius l. This is the second equation that I am using. Yeah. So these two equations are mandatory. Agar hum these two uh, applications of work energy theorem and circular motion are mandatory if we are dealing with that incomplete vertical circle. Third one will be optional, right? Third step will be optional. Then the third step will only come into play if I am going to ask you about the projectile motion which is going to happen after this, right? So after this, you will have to apply the concepts of projectile motion right and this is why these questions become tough because you have to remember three things aapko work energy theorem bhi apply karna circular motion bhi apply karna aapko projectile motion bhi apply karna but you can make your life easy right circular motion agar apply karna hai circular motion mein jo radial acceleration hoga v square by radius hoga or jo forces going here yeah, quickly you can draw the fbd and you can find out the radial forces okay so since we don't require this the question <coughs> let's try to find out what is the value of uh, v and theta right so from this equation, uh, I will get m m m cancel हो जाएगा और मैं अगर two से multiply करूँ throughout, okay. so I get v square is equal to v naught square minus m g l one plus something. Hara, the cancel of M M M cancel of Yana. Such a manager, M. Thank you, yes, sir. Absolutely right. You are absolutely right. So, this is one relation we get between V and theta. And what is the other relation we get between V and theta? It is from here. This guy. And that is that. Yahabe V M or M cancel. We get V square is equal to GL. So let's equate these two guys. If they are equal, I will get V naught square. But V naught square is 4 GL, right? So I get 4 GL minus GL minus GL sine theta, right? I just opened the brackets in the first expression. Is equal to GL sine theta. Right? Then again, it will be over here. Okay. Two cup and term. Right. You take enough. So, uh, 
tell me the value of theta now. GL, 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 GL. Cancel out over here. Sine theta is equal to 2 by 3. But if sine theta is equal to 2 by 3, then what is the velocity? Under root of two GL by three. Right, because V square is equal to uh, GL sine theta, sine theta is two by three. Is this understood? Yeah, so nothing beats understanding like doing it yourself. So I'll give you another question. I'll give you another question. Everybody has written this, right? I'm going to the next slide. Please take a screenshot if you have not. You write this if you have not. Okay, so today we are going to have lots of questions based on this. I'm going to go to the next slide now. Okay, now I'm going to the next slide. Baby. Hello. Okay. So a particle is suspended by a string of length L, just like before, and it is given a horizontal velocity of root 3 GL, as I have shown. You have to now find the maximum height reached by the particle.
take your time, look at the previous question, follow it step by step. Okay. First, you have to apply work energy theorem between the two points where circular motion is going on. Then you have to apply the concept of circular motion at the very last point. And then you have to apply the concepts of projectile motion. अगर मैं इस क्वेश्चन में मैक्सिमम हाइट पूछूंगा तो मैक्सिमम हाइट कहाँ आएगा? इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई आस्क व्हाट इज़ द मैक्सिमम हाइट रीच्ड बाय द प्रोजेक्ट बाय द पार्टिकल वेयर इज़ द मैक्सिमम हाइट ऑफ़ द पार्टिकल इन दिस क्वेश्चन इफ आई आस्क मैक्सिमम हाइट वेयर इज़ द मैक्सिमम हाइट Maximum height is here. Ah, because so. so you need to calculate this thing. This is the maximum height, which consists of L. L sin theta and then maximum height of the projectile. Okay, so please do it like that. फाइव बाई ट्वेल्थ तो हो नहीं सकता है ना मतलब अगर आपके बिल्डिंग में दस फ्लोर हैं तो यू कैन बी लिविंग ऑन द ट्वेंटी एथ फ्लोर ना फाइव एल बाई टू का मतलब टू पॉइंट फाइव एल हुआ और 
अगर पूरा सर्कल भी कंप्लीट हो रहा है तब भी वो ट्वेल्व ही तो जाएगा ना उसके ऊपर यहां तक आएगा तो बना दिया यहां तक आएगा सर्कुल सर्कुलर मोशन देन गोइंग टू प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन सो वी नीड टू फाइंड this height this height this height by the way main horizontal se angle theta le raha hu aap vertical se bhi angle theta le sakte hain it will make no difference it will make no difference. so first work energy ha bilkul sahi baat hai between i and f summation of work done work done by gravity Plus work done by string minus mg l one plus sine theta plus zero. So I get minus mg l one plus sine theta is equal to half mg square minus. Half mg not square. And then circular motion between points I get. mg mg sin theta so mg sin theta is equal to mg square by l right now yahan tak to humne kiya tha and from this equation and this equation please tell me the value of v and please tell me the value of t गुड ये सबने वर्कआउट किया है यहां तक यस गुड सो वी हैव साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय 3 दिस इज इक्वल टू √ cl बाय 
Okay, now I will talk about integer style test. So we have a projectile with velocity V at an angle of 90 minus theta. an angle of 90 minus theta. So the height of the projectile, remember, is given by uy square by 2g. Okay. Please go back in your notes and you will find uh, when we were discussing motion under gravity, I told you that if you throw something up vertically with a velocity v0, maximum height that is reached by that particle is V naught square by 2G. And in projectile motion, this simply becomes uh, motion along two separate axes. So for vertical height, maximum vertical height, all you need is the Y component of velocity. And the formula remains the same. Y component of velocity whole square by 2G always gives you the maximum height. So in this case, the vertical component of velocity, okay, so this, uh, this component of velocity is V cosine 90 minus theta. So this is V sine theta. The vertical component of velocity is V sine 90 minus theta. So this is V cosine theta. So this will be equal to V square cos square theta upon we already know the value of V. V square will be GL by 3. And if sine theta is 1 by 3, then what is cosine theta? If sine theta is 1 by 3, then what is cosine theta? If sine theta is 1 by 3, what is cosine theta? I hope you remember sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. And what is, uh, what is cosine square theta? What is cosine square theta? Cosine square theta. It's a little bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit So this will be equal to G cancel ho gaya. Two se yahan pe four a gaya. So ye a jayega four L by 27. So this is L, this is L sine theta. L sine theta is equal to L by three. So maximum height maximum height is equal to L plus L by 3 plus 4L by 27. Hey, please somebody tell me the value. I think it uh, worked work out here. GL Q R out there still a million in Malum. Right, please remember not to take L plus L sine theta as the maximum height. L plus L sine theta as the maximum height is like saying that 
मैं फिफ्थ फ्लोर पे रहता हूँ तो मेरी बिल्डिंग में फाइव ही फ्लोर है तो ऊपर तो जा ही नहीं सकता हाँ वही मैं बोला थोड़ा केयरफुल रहना है कोई चीज टप नहीं है अगर आप इंडिविजुअली देखो वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम यूज करना केवल वर्क डन बाय अर्थ ही तो हो रहा है और इनिशियल कैनेटिक एनर्जी दी हुई है वो कोई टफ नहीं है सर्कुलर मोशन में एक ही रेडियल फोर्स है इज इक्वल टू एम स्क्वायर बाय आर कर देना है वो भी टफ नहीं है प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन में सिर्फ यू वाई स्क्वायर बाई टू जी लगाना है वो भी टफ नहीं है इंडिविजुअल थिंग्स आर नॉट टफ वॉट इज टफ इज द फैक्ट दैट यू हैव टू apply concepts from three chapters simultaneously and if you can realize this if you can grasp this if you can in physics go beyond chapters that is why i never make a distinction ki ye chapter khatam ho gaya because it is all a series of concept a series of tools that we are learning and each and every tool should be at your fingertips You should be in a very comfortable position to apply all these tools simultaneously or stand alone. Right. So next question. I am changing the slide. Okay. Please take a screenshot. I am changing the slide. Next question. Now please think about this question. Okay? Please think about this question. Find. V so that the particle hits the point of suspension. This, by the way, is the point of. Uh, of course, it hit it after the entire motion. Yes. Look at this diagram. अब ये पार्टिकल ऐसे गया यहां से ऐसे ऊपर जा रहा है ऐसे ऊपर जा रहा है सर्कल है अभी उसके बाद से ये प्रोजेक्टाइल ऐसे चला वट अबाउट दिस गाय सर्कुलर मोशन लाइक दिस एंड देन प्रोजेक्टाइल लाइक दिस नाउ वट डू वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट सर्कुलर मोशन लाइक दिस एंड देन प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन लाइक दिस प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन शुड एंड एट दिस पॉइंट 
Now we want circular motion like this, projectile motion like this. भावे आप डायग्राम ड्रॉ करो और देखो वेदर व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज ट्रू और नॉट
How are you? Doing all right. All right. I'm 
them from beyond this point. It becomes a projectile. We want the projectile to go like this. And so, you see, this is how I make the question more and more tough. Now, this becomes projectile on an inclined plane. If you remember, uh, now projectile on an inclined plane itself was a, uh, you know, when we studied it, it itself was a very big thing and a very complicated thing. But now it becomes a part of this problem. Formula I will show you other Galti say formula yad hai. So, your question those steps may ho jaye, means steps. Nahi yad hai, to floor steps lagging. Mujhe kabi yad ni rata hai, to make the good or steps lagging. Okay, so let's first. I F angle theta. So let's work first start with the work energy theorem. The work energy. Let this be V naught. So we have minus M G L one plus sine theta. Equal to half in V square minus half in V naught square. Right now, you see the problem. Now, there are three unknowns in this equation theta bhi hai, v bhi hai, aur v naught to nikal na hi. Right? Se, circular motion at point F. So I will draw the tangential axis, I will draw the radial axis. Right, this is what, what we have been doing up till now. So this is mg, this component of mg is mg sin theta. This component of mg is mg cos theta, but I don't need this. So for circular motion, we get mg sin theta is equal to mv square by m. Right? Okay, now we come to projectile motion. Now, if I did remember the projectile on an inclined plane, then alpha and beta are the angles of projection on the incline and the angle of the incline. So if I go back to the formula of the range of a projectile down the incline plane, in fact, you have given a PDF, I have a table, I have given a table, the table you have fill karna tha, and the things that you had to fill in the table, one of the things that you had to fill in the table was the range of the projectile when it is projected from the bottom of the inclined plane and the range of the projectile when it is projected from the top of the inclined plane. So what is the range of the projectile on the inclined plane here? Well, that is very simple. If the projectile is going from this point to this point, then this must be the range of the projectile. And in this case, the range of the projectile is nothing but, is nothing but, nothing but the length of the string. So if you remember, okay, if by some crazy chance you remember, acha. Ye to range the expression head down the inclined plane, then the question for you is over because all you have to do is write that formula and put in the values here. Uh, the value of uh, beta will be 90, the value of alpha will be theta, the value of uh, 
ux will be zero, the value of uy will be v, and that's it. End of story. Okay. Tisra equation agya, tiro equation to solve karna hai, answer nikal. If, however, you don't remember, like I don't remember, then we are going to have lots of fun. So, the way to do this, if you don't remember, if you don't remember, there are two options. So, I will first show you option one. Okay, option three, of course, is that you do remember and uh, things are very, very easy for you. But if you don't remember that formula, then there are two options. The first option is where you take, so this is a revision of projectile motion really. So the first option is where you take the normal horizontal vertical axis. Normal horizontal vertical axis. So let's go here. Horizontal vertical axis. For the sake of my convenience, I will call this axis plus y and I will call this axis plus x. Remember, we can choose, there is no problem. I can choose the downward axis as plus y. This is just to get rid of the fact that G will be minus or my bar bar minus 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 will go. Right? So I also know that this angle is theta. Therefore, this angle must be 90 minus theta. Therefore, the component of velocity in this direction must be V sin theta. Component of velocity in this direction must be V cos theta. Also, if this is the origin, right? If this is the origin, then this point, the point of suspension, will have coordinates equal to Right. They will have coordinates equal to L cosine theta comma L sine theta. I hope this is clear to everyone. If this distance L and this angle theta, this distance L sine theta, L cos theta, and this distance L sine theta. Wow, Zoheb. Yes, actually, that is the right answer. Uh, if this distance is L, नहीं, नहीं, velocity is not going to be able to do it. Okay, this is not going to So, if this distance is L and this angle is theta, then this distance must be L cos theta and this must be L sin theta. So the coordinates of this point with respect to the yellow axis that I have drawn will be L cos theta and L sin theta. Gaya sabko samaj mein Coordinates sabko samaj mein aare hai. Anybody not understanding the coordinates, please ask me. Anybody not understanding the coordinates of this point of suspension with respect to this origin, please ask me. Anybody not understanding the coordinates? So, now I write. Ux is equal to V sine theta. Uy is equal to minus V cos theta. Minus kyun aaya bhai? Minus kyun aaya ye? Minus is the aya, kyunki mene y direction positive downwards liya hua hai. So, jo upward velocity hoi ki negative hoi. Ax is equal to 0. Ay is equal to g. 
ए प्लस क्यों है क्योंकि मैंने डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन को पॉजिटिव लिया हुआ है एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट इज इक्वल टू एल कॉस थीटा वाई कोऑर्डिनेट इज इक्वल टू एल साइन थीटा राइट सो आई वांट ए पार्टिकल व्हिच हैज दीस इनिशियल वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन टू हैव this x coordinate and this y coordinate after some time so i remember that x is equal to ux t plus half ax t square right we'll just s is equal to ut plus half ax square uh, but now for projectile motion it is applied on both axes so in this case we have l cosine theta is equal to v sine theta t plus 0 okay and since y is equal to u y plus half a y t square we get minus v cos theta t plus half g t square is equal to l sin theta so now what i am going to do is i am going to place the value of t from equation 1 into equation 2 for those of you who have caught on ye bhi karne ki zarurat nahi thi aap seedha equation of trajectory likh ke उसमें x और y की वैल्यूज l cos थीटा और l sin थीटा डाल सकते हैं राइट इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट 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 कैन बी ऑप्शन 4 सो वी गेट t is equal to l upon v cot थीटा राइट सो वी गेट l sin थीटा is equal to Minus v cos theta t, which is l by v cot theta. Let me just make a vertical line here, so you know what I'm talking about. Minus half, oh sorry, plus half g t square, that is l square by v square cot square. लेकिन v स्क्वायर की वैल्यू तो मेरे को यहां से मालूम v स्क्वायर की वैल्यू तो gl sin theta आई ऑलरेडी नो दिस सो देन दिस एक्सप्रेशन बिकम्स होपफुली दिस शुड गेट रिड ऑफ एवरीथिंग l sin theta is equal to minus यहां पे v और v कैंसिल हो गया है is equal to minus L cot theta into cosine theta, right? So this is equal to L uh, cosine square theta upon sine theta plus half g L square cot square theta upon v square ki value hai g L g L sine theta g L sine theta. So let's see what cancels out. L L L G G L L. Everything cancels out. We get a very simple trigonometric equation. Simple trigonometric equation. Uh, I hope it is simple. I can take common on the right hand side sine theta, and I can cross multiply. So I will get. साइन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू कोसाइन स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस कॉट स्क्वायर थीटा राइट ये आएगा ठीक है So, 
दिस गिव्स मी ओ यहां पे भी एक टू आएगा ना टू आएगा ना हां लेट मी सो दिस गिव्स मी cot theta is equal to root of 2 or tan theta is equal to 1 upon root right so the major part of the problem was projectile motion work energy circular motion to ho hi gaya wo to pehle hi wo to bhool hi gaya hai ki wo ho chuka hai right so if i have tan theta is equal to root Two, then I know everything, right? I'm going to change the slide. Please take a screenshot. I'm going to change the slide. Please take a screenshot. I'm going to change the slide. Please take a screenshot. So, tan theta is equal to one by root two means that there is some right angle triangle where this side is one, this side is two. and therefore what is the third side therefore what is the third side should be root 3 theek hai na to v ki value kya aa gayi gl sin theta v ki value aa gayi uh, gl upon root नॉट की क्या वैल्यू आ गई वी नॉट जो है वो हम इस एक्सप्रेशन से निकालेंगे ये वाले एक्सप्रेशन से राइट वी नॉट इज इक्वल टू वी स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस जी एल वन प्लस साइन ये हो जाएगा अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस विल बी दिटी अंडर रूट ऑफ जी एल ब्रैकेट टू प्लस quickly i'll go through option 2 option 2 the so option 2 may we have this as length l this is the v and we have this as the angle theta so in option 2 we choose our axis to be this and we choose this to be the x axis we choose this to be the y axis so in this case u x is equal to 0 u y is equal to minus b but now you have to find out ax and ay remembering that gravity is like this gravity will have therefore A component parallel to the x-axis and a component parallel to the y-axis. And if this angle is theta, this angle must be theta. So this must be g cosine theta. This must be g sine theta. So ax is equal to g sine theta, and ay is equal to g cos theta. Please notice that both of them are positive because of my choice of positive x, y axis. and at this point we want the projectile to come like this right we want the projectile to be landing at this point so at this point the x coordinate is zero because this point is on the x axis itself uh, right oh, sorry sorry 
y coordinate is 0 because that point is on the x axis itself, the x coordinate is 0. So, here again the same thing x is equal to ux t plus half ax t square will give me uh, half g sin theta t square and y is equal to ui t plus half ay t square will give me minus vt plus half g cos theta t square, right? And I can equate uh, the y coordinate to zero and this to L, right? And the moment I equate this coordinate to zero, I get the value of p as 2v upon g cos theta. And I can put that back in the other equation. So L is equal to half g sine theta into t square, uh, which would be 4v square upon g cosine theta. So here, g and g cancelled out. G square cos square theta. Sorry. G square cos square theta. So one G and one G cancel out. And I can actually put in the value of G square again. Two set two cancel out. So I will get two sine theta upon cos square theta. Right, or v square ki value mein dalunga to kya aega? G L sin theta. Right, so this will be G L sin theta or niche G square tha, to ek aur G aega. Kya kya chize cancel ho jayenge? L will cancel out with this guy. G will cancel out with this guy. And again I get sin square theta upon cos square theta, which is tan square theta. So again I will get tan theta is equal to 1 by 1. Right, so you can either choose to handle this projectile motion as uh, the projectile motion in a horizontal vertical axis or in an inclined axis, that is your choice. But the best thing, of course, from an examination perspective would be that you remember the uh, uh, the uh, range of projectile on the inclined. Now the way to do that, of course, is we just exam se pehle, ek din pehle, kya karna chahiye? Yahi sab kaam karna chahiye, exam se ek din pehle. Right? Just remember these equations, which will help you in attaining speed, question But speed ke liye, this is what we have to do. Right? Please take a screenshot. I'm going to the next slide. Please take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot. I'm going to the next slide. Please take a screenshot. Okay, so I want to give another question now. We will discuss this question in the next class. So this question is uh, a previous IIT question. So please do it carefully. And by next class, hopefully all of you would have done it successfully. So particle connected to a vertical string is given a velocity as shown. After some time, particle crosses the yellow line with a horizontal velocity uh, 
find B. Right? So, same, same question. Everything remains the same except for the fact. Time, the particle crosses the yellow line with a horizontal velocity. This is also small l capital L, the same. Okay, please take a screenshot of this and uh, attempt to do to, uh, to do this. We'll discuss this in the next class. Right. So this completes motion in a vertical circle. And from the next class, then we'll start with the concept of uh, potential energy. Ha, chain wale question me karma. Abhi chain wale question ni karna hai. It's CV me jo hai na. Chain wale question me karma. Chal, okay. Then bye bye. I will see you guys in the next class.